You're listening to a new episode of Girl Damn Podcast with your host, me, Aeon. So sit back, relax, and listen as I unpack the uncertainty of my 30s one episode at a time. Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Girl Down Podcast with me, Aeon. Let me start this episode off by first apologizing to my audience for my inconsistency and for not posting on, just not regularly posting and not uploading to my Patreon page. So, if you don't, if you can't tell... This is going to be a life update episode. (laughs) Work my... So, let me me start off by this. I left my previous law firm at the end of March. And I started a new position at the beginning of April at um, Transgender Legal Defense and Education Firm based out of New York City. I am the staff attorney for the Name Change Project, so I will be leading the Name Change Project where we provide name changes for trans and gender non-conforming folks, um, mainly in New York, but also other areas across the country, and we are, under my direction, going to expand to even more cities, so let me first give, give congratulations for myself. Um, for starting this new position that marries my professional and my personal passions. Y'all already know how I feel about advocating for a community. And I, I just really feel good about this move. I was very depressed in my last position. Very isolated. While I did get a lot of good substantive work experience, it was lacking. And... A bitch was the only black person in their practice group. And I'm the type of person, just stuff like that gets to me. So ultimately, I had to do what I had to do and move into a position where I felt like I could be more of myself and get what I needed. And I'm just looking forward to this new chapter. And I'm just I'm just very excited to, uh, about the, th- the organization, where the organization is going, where my... Where my particular project is going I'm excited about the people that I work with they since day one they've been very warm and um open and um they is they really trust me to come in and do what I said I was going to do so with that with that change um so my lease is up in July so I will be relocating from the DMV area now, I have been running around telling folks that I'm going to be moving to Houston. One, I love Houston. I'm in love with the city, and it's so significantly cheaper. And my current job right now, is we're on um, remote work status. So, I've been looking at places in Houston and just um, been fantasizing about the move. And I have uh, very close friends in Houston and um even despite all of the stuff, that's, all of the anti-trans things that are going on, specifically in Texas and period, all over the South, um, that hasn't swayed me. While it does give me some concern and pause, just seeing like the black trans folks that are down there, living their lives, resisting, doing them, that inspires me to uh, return to the South and kind of add to that community and be a part of that. But, I also want to make decisions that make sense. And I get the feeling that my job, although real remote, that we will be returning to an office or some type of hybrid working status. And also, 
because some aspects of my job, even though I don't have to go into the office, I do have to interface with people, um, interface with other organizations based in New, in New York City. Uh, I have been swayed to um, look for a house in the the NYC area. So, I, 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 I'm on the path to becoming a homeowner, which is which is sooner than I, I thought. But I want to give a shout out to one of my good, good girlfriends from law school, Diamond, and her partner, Alicia, who's a realtor here in Maryland. Just really breaking down the process for me of uh, just buying a house. My friend Diamond and Alicia, they just purchased a new home in the, the PG County area. And it was really a steal. And just them breaking down the, the home buying process for me really demystified it. And it, it to me, it's just a much, it's a better, I could buy a home and end up paying less in mortgage for the home in the New York City area than if I were to pay high exuberant rent in the NYC area. And I can benefit because I'm put I'm I'm in essence paying myself and then if I ever need to move away from New York for whatever reason, I can put the home on the market and I can sell it and I can um use the the profit to pay off my mortgage and then keep whatever remainder I have for myself. So it's a whole process that was broken down for me. And once I got it, it just makes more sense for me to do the work or find a good black a black realtor or a, a black woman realtor or a realtor who's black and queer to really do the legwork and break that down for you and figure out what grants you qualify for to bring your... Uh, to bring your down payment down significantly. Um, it's on them to do that legwork so you can just um, walk into a house. And I'm looking for something that's turnkey, that's already renovated, washer, dryer, appliances, so I can just step in. And the most that I want to do when I move into a house is change the paint and then start to add my furniture. But yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. Now that I've secured this jo new job and it's a permanent position, it's not tied to like a one year or two year fellowship and I can the time is now and also another factor why I'm looking to buy a house now y'all know a bitch has student loans from law school and um while student loans are still on pause because of the Biden administration which I ultimately hope that they get canceled but one of the benefits of them being paused is that it's not going to hit take a hit my credit and my credit score is pretty good considering that I do um have a little bit of credit card debt but I've never late I'm always paying it all so my credit score is good but while the student loan thing is frozen or paused this is the perfect time for people especially young people that have a lot of student loan debt to take advantage and get a house and start to build equity and build capital um, because if you buy in a good neighborhood uh, and the property values start to go up, then you could always sell your house and then um, get get a profit, get a profit, um, get a profit from what you pay for the house. So, in addition to that, I'm um, I ha I have a slew of guests that I'm booking to come on the show. I really love my interviews, just bringing different people on that speak to different topics that I want to speak to and just you getting to know a different side of me through them. Um, so one of the people that I'm going to bring on is uh, my um, friend Diamonds, her partner, who is a, who, like I said, is a licensed realtor in Maryland and District of Columbia that can really break down the homeowner home buying process. Uh, just she was able to break it down for me in a matter of minutes. And I'm like, you know what? The, the financially, this, it just makes more sense. It just makes more sense for me to, especially to buy a home in the New York area where it's constantly, the prices are constantly going up. It just makes more sense. And in mortgage, I would be essentially paying less for a mortgage than I would for rent in New York. And I also do want to have a car while I'm up there. It just it it just makes sense. So that's where I'm at. So 
Um, dating wise, down here in DMV, if you listen to the addendum to another episode, I tell you about a little situation how I, that that turned out. But I'm not dating anybody. Um, dick appointments are on point. I've ha- I've been having a lot of my old study pieces from this area just pop back up so I'm putting them into place and when I need to you know have my little knees met I have fun with them but I'm putting the love life like if I find somebody here it's you know, I'm open to like vulnerability and emotion and sensuality and all of that but the reality is I am going to move out of this area and I'm very clear about that and um like I said, I'm open to whatever happens, but I am transparent with somebody that wants to date me from the D.C. area that I am moving and it's it's just my time to go. And hopefully when I move to um, the, now the New York area, uh, I, I will be open to some dating experience. And I was definitely open when I thought I was going to move to Texas, but you just have to be open to the, the different changes and the different um, swings of life and this is just where I'm at now, but I'm I'm just I'm happier. I'm lighter. I'm pretty sure you can hear it in my voice. I'm not going to do any episodes about the Will Smith slap thing or just the the like. I don't I don't like it was it was definitely a moment, but I just don't have the energy to talk about all of that shit and the, the massage and noir. I'm gonna leave that to the other podcasters and entertainers. I'm just over here just trying to be positive, just trying to get my foundation in order. Shout out to Justice Kentanji Brown Jackson. I knew we could do it. If Now that Biden has done this, he needs to put another woman of color on the Supreme Court or some, a woman of color that's queer. And he also needs to cancel student loans. And he will definitely get my vote again in 2024, darling. So we are well on the way to securing another. If he if, if these get get those damn promises, but yeah, I'm just trying to be happy, y'all. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to be happy. I'm already kind. I'm already fish. Shout out to Chasing Atlanta. Shout out to them, Dario, for editing my ad that's in the show and running it. I have been seeing the numbers go up, Miss Thing. So, because the numbers are going up, I have to give y'all new content. But, baby, I am back. I am back. I'm starting a book club. Uh, I will... So, May... So, next month is May. So, May 1, I'm going to drop the book that we are going to read... We're going to talk about it on the Patreon. And so, honey, we're going to have fun this summer. We we are stepping into our purpose. We're stepping into our dreams. We are building the realities that we want. And honey, let's do this. So make sure that if you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, that you are rating and reviewing Girl Down Podcasts. Make sure you are sharing it with your network. Um, <laughs> make sure that you are telling people about me. Uh, if you're on the Patreon, I got y'all. I have the content coming. I have the interviews coming. Thank you for your patience. I live for you all so much. And I will see you on the next episode. Thank you for listening to another episode of Girl Down Podcast with me, Aeon. If you like the show, please be sure to go on over to Apple Podcasts and rate and review this podcast. Also, make sure that you're engaging with me on social media. Also, if you have any inquiries or you want to send me any questions, be sure to email me at girldownpodcast at gmail.com. Until next time, bye, (laughs) y'all.